Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, Binky here. So, I actually, I don't know, I've actually been doing well, haven't been spending as much. Um, just not a lot that's been really making me go wow. And so I was feeling the fall vibe. I'm a summer girl, summer girl. But it has been so rainy this summer and so humid that on the East Coast, and I'm, I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm done. This is the first time in my life that I said, I am done. Bring me into fall. I know. I have my friends are like, what? They're like, we don't know you anymore. I and mean, I barely know myself. So <laughs> there were new lipsticks that came out by Melt Cosmetics and they just screamed fall. And, 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 and all that lovely pumpkin spice, the cooler air, no humidity, you know, a little bit of layers, which I actually don't like that. I hate the layers. Damn, I hate coats. But whatever. It, it was screaming fall. And so I don't know what it was, what was in the air. Maybe it was the 90 degree, 100% humidity weather. But I was like, yeah, I'm feeling some fall. And so I ended up picking up Milk Cosmetics New Lipsticks Role Play. I wonder what they mean by that. Yeah, so <laughs> you open it up and there you go. Now I'm a sucker for packaging, so I'll probably keep it in here because I'm a total nerd like that. I really am. So that's it. Look at that, that's kind of nice. Let's, let's see that unveiling again. Yeah, so role play. So here you go, there are five colors in here and I just feel like these scream fall. They scream fall. And so I was like, okay, let's do this. So I have worn one, I think, I wore one twice because I really didn't want to wear these much now because it is still summer and it is still warm here even though it's rainy here today. But um, so I, I just don't feel like it's time to be pulling these out fully, but I did want to wear something, you know, at least to see how it worked because I don't want to review something and swatch it and not really have any information. So I did try it. I did not try them all. I do want to say that just because it wouldn't fit with what's going on here right now, but I did wear one just so you can see what it was like. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch these. Let's get past all this craziness and let's get to the swatches and then we'll revisit these afterwards. <laughs> my friends so those are the swatches so surprisingly enough <laughs> you know what's interesting is I do have um, other melt cosmetic lipsticks and what's interesting is if you look at the past collections from days gone by a lot of those are very grungy so they have that grazy kind of undertone to it and I love those and and I, I love colors like that but I know not everybody does and they tend to work a little bit better with those uh well not always but with the cool tones a little bit but I've seen some warm tone ones that work really well and what I like about it even with the warm tones with those grayish kind of undertones it makes it wearable for those with cool tones as well so I'm a big fan of those colors I know not everybody is some people like the bright colors that are with, without the, the grayish tint to it. It just is its beautiful self by itself without anything else added to it. You know, there's the purists out there and there's nothing wrong with that. 
versus those like myself who do like those colors. Not all the time, but I do love them. And I feel like Melt Cosmetics before was known a little bit more for those lip colors than these. So if you don't like those grayish undertones in lipstick, I think you may find this collection, this collection to be a little bit more your speed, a uh, role play, because they're, they're just clear colors. There aren't any of those grayish undertones going on with this collection, which is interesting, especially for fall. I do think that these are very much fall colors in a lot of ways, but what I will say is that they could also go quite well at the end of summer going into fall and then going into early spring. And a couple of these colors, you know, really could be, especially this one here, could be worn in summer. I mean, it's a very, it's a very workable set. You know, unlike something like Old Fashioned or some of those other colors that are just very much scream fall and winter because of the, the undertones to it. So I was kind of surprised by this collection. I was like, yeah, I'm ready for some fall. I'm thinking, you know, it's Melt Cosmetics. They do tend to add that color underneath. Oh no, my friend, <laughs> no, 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 no. These colors are very, very clear. As you can see, this one here, which is Last Kiss, I'm just gonna end it out in the video with this because here it be. So it's very bright. Actually, this could be worn in summer as well. It's very bright, it's very cheery. I love it. It's almost like this raspberry red color. Um, this is something that I wouldn't necessarily wear in, in, in winter. And it's just interesting. It's very interesting that they put this out. I'm liking it. <laughs> I'm really liking it. I might wear it right now through fall. I, I probably will. It's very bright. I feel like there's a nice array of colors in here. I do feel that for the most part, except for this lovely color up here, which is the first one, I do feel that these tend to um, be a little bit more cool tone. They are a little, they pull a little bit more cool. And I, I think they're absolutely lovely. I, I feel like we're just seeing a shift where for a couple years it was very much those orange sunset tones and which are very warm and we're heading into more of a cool phase. And so here you go, a few cool tone go girls like myself going, where the heck are our lipsticks and, and, and eyeshadow palettes? They're here, they are here, so rejoice. But um, I do feel like these definitely pull a little bit more cool, so a few warm tones who are a little bit more towards the neutral, you may really like these. And, and, and like I always say, even if you are, so I'm, more, I'm cool to, tone, I wear warm tone all the time because I don't care. So if you like these colors, don't care. You do what you want to do. Yes. So these are really quite lovely. So what I will say about these is that if you know Melt Cosmetics, because you've had purchases in the past, you know that the formula can be a little bit drier. So it's almost like a matte heading into a matte. It's almost like if you have Anastasia Beverly Hills, their lipsticks, the, the older formulas tended to be a little bit, for me at least, like that. Not quite as dry, but heading in that vein. And some of the lipsticks that I have from Mel also felt that way. Not, like I said, Anastasia Beverly Hills formula is very much in its own little vein. It's very, they're very dry to me and they pull quite a lot. And some of the older colors from Melt sometimes headed towards that formula, in my opinion. These actually are a little bit um, softer. Um, wearing them, the one that I wore the most, of course, was Novelty. I love colors like this, I'm not gonna lie. Novelty is probably my favorite of the group, which is the second one here. And then the one underneath it, I could not even pronounce that name. I'll put it to the side. Um, but um, I, I tend to love colors like that. I love those mauves. So these, these these tended to be my favorite of the group, but specifically novelty. And I wore it, and it was very comfortable. You can definitely feel it a little bit on your lips. It is a thicker formula, so you're gonna feel it. It's thicker. It's there. So, but it isn't as drying as maybe some of the other ones. I don't know. I felt like these are a little bit more moisturized. Maybe it's because they're newer, and so they're right off the line, and the other ones may have been sitting. So the formula kind of changes over time. I don't know, but I feel like these are softer and a little bit more creamy. Uh, so I loved it. What I will say is there is a scent to these. So if you've not used Mel Cosmetics, this th these have a scent to them. And they all do, but this one really, I find it strong. How to explain it? It's almost like, it's a vanilla, but there's a difference between a vanilla perfume scent versus if you're a baker, which I love to bake, I love to freaking bake. So if you use real vanilla, or even the imitation vanilla and it has that strong scent to it, 
this is what it smells like. It smells like that ampli amplified and it, it doesn't go away immediately. So if you do not like vanilla or you don't like stronger scents, you may not care for these because it definitely is near the nose. And so you're definitely going to be aware of it. I love it. Every time I put it on, I was like, oh yeah, chocolate chip cookies, baby. Yeah. Let's, let's make some cheesecake. It was delightful for me. <laughs> so I, I, I was having a good time, but that may not be for, for everyone. Some people do not like the strong scents. It's almost like a floral vanilla. So it's very, it has a very strong vanilla scent, but a floral scent to it as well. It's strong. So, you know, be prepared. But I do feel that these wore well. There is transfer to it. These are not matte matte. They are going to move. Um, it's just the way it is. I did have to, they wore off really nicely. They wore off really nicely, but I did have to reapply, especially if I was eating or drinking. If I was just talking, going about my day, they stayed on pretty well. But again, if you're eating a salad or whatever and has a lot of oil in it, these guys aren't going to stay. If you're drinking off of a straw, they're not going to stay. You're going to have to reapply. But it, 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 they basically went away in a really beautiful way. So it wasn't like, ugh, go on, you know, this whole part's gone and it's just lined. It disappeared quite nicely. Just pull it back out, put it back on easily, and there you go. So with the last one, which is Last Kiss, I will say because the formula is a little bit stiffer, um, I had to be... You can see it didn't go on as well and smoothly as the other one. So you're going to want to take your time. Take your time. Bring in a liner. Do what you need to do. Fill it in. I got it to work. It works beautifully. But I do think that these are really great colors. It may be possible, looking at these, especially because the, a lot of these are more mauve berry tones, that um, you may have a lot of these in your collection. You may already. But they had a sale and this was already discounted and then another discount on top of it. And so I said, why not? And I'm very happy with that. I, I can see myself wearing these. These are everyday kind of colors I see myself wearing in the fall. Maybe this one less so. Last Kiss would probably be the one that I'm like, ah. Uh. But the three in the middle, I will be rocking all fall and winter. So I think these are really great. I think they're beautiful. But I, I'm known for colors like this. I, I live my life by those mauve kind of colors. So I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I do. I love these. And they do actually, looking at it, have a little bit of that grayish tone. They do. Not all of them, not these, but a little bit in the middle, and I kind of live for those. So for some people, some people may not like that because it may be a little bit ashy on their skin tone, so I get it. But I don't think they're as obvious as they've been in past collections. So I'm happy with these. I think they're a really nice uh, lipstick. I'm happy with it. Yes, the packaging is very sleek. It is obviously plastic. I do think the packaging is not necessarily the most awe-inspiring, um, but I'm... I'm, I'm not here for the packaging. I'm okay. Yeah, I love pretty packaging, but I'm not going to go, gosh, this isn't the most beautiful packaging. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not one of those people because I'm not here to, it's lipstick. <laughs> it's about this, not this. So yes, that is my review for today. Let me know what you think. I'm curious about how you feel about this collection, how you feel about melt lipsticks in general. You know, I really feel that there's some really gorgeous colors there and They've been having a lot of sales on these, so wait for it and pick them up yourself and try them. I think they're really nice, really nice formula. So until next time, have a beautiful day, my friends. <laughs> Bye.